Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. It's been almost two weeks since my last video, so sorry for that guys. It's been really crazy, you know, as I'm sure it has been for everyone, but you can see it is time. Um, I think I've got another five days, f yeah, four or five days worth of growth. Um, but I was waiting for something special to come in. Um, <clears throat> I got this from the Walmart of um, online auction sites, The Bay. Um, a new to me double duck. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. So anyway, um, got this off eBay. It certainly is not perfect. It's got some, I mean, you can see some minor pitting in there that's been polished out. Um, so I've never used this before. All I did was I got it, um, I got the oil off of it, and I stropped it. So hopefully it'll be pretty nice. Kind of a scales are kind of neat. Um, I kind of plastic those, so that was that was. Um, I didn't really expect that. I expected at least like celluloid, um, but these are these are pretty cheap plastic. But I mean, I, I think I got it. Uh, for like 23 bucks um, American so whatever we'll see how it shaves um, it was finished with a uh, Shapton glass 12k so we'll see how that does um, so anyway I hadn't shaved because I was waiting for this to come in it was supposed to come to me in Maine from Florida and instead of going this way up the up the East Coast it went all the way to Florida and then I mean I'm um, sorry all the way to California Bakersfield, California, and then made its way back to me. So um, it was about a two week trip to get that. And I was supposed to get it three to four days after the auction. So anyway, this will be my first time to use it. Um, one new product that I'm excited to try, um, Ariana and Evans uh, Slick Stick. So this is a pre-shave. I, I don't use pre-shaves. Um, but however, I wanted something to get a little slicker with my straight razors because I'm still not great at it. I'm still learning. Um, so I want something to be as slick as possible to kind of, um, you know, help from not getting any nicks from any uh, bad passes that I have. So I'm excited to try that out today. I may put some on my underarms as well, see how slick that is. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's going to be my pre-shave. And then I'm going with Declaration Grooming Dirtiver. Uh, which is really not the dirtiest vetiver. Um, it's somewhere between a clean and a dirty vetiver, but um, a definitely really nice vetiver, grassy scent to it, um, and a, um, a nice performing soap as well. Um, I will, after shave, I've got a sample that I'm trying to use up, um, Fine um, La Ronge Noir. Um, and then my scent of the day will be Terre d'Hermes from Hermes. Brush today will be my Sterling 26 millimeter Finest Badger. Wonderful, wonderful brush. Really nice gel tips on that. Really, really soft. Wonderful, wonderful brush. So, get a little water going in the sink here hope everyone's doing well out there hope everyone is healthy I know I'm a healthcare worker but thank you to all the healthcare workers um, especially the people that are having one-on-one -on -one contact with patients right now especially your nurses CNAs um, doctors and I am a direct care provider um, However, now that all of this virus stuff is going on, um, we're kind of doing most of our most of our work as dietitians um, via phone call. Which, you know, I mean, you can still get the job done. I just kind of miss um, I miss being with the patients. I miss that that um, that personal interaction. So, all right, enough of that. So shave stick. Let's see. Um, I mean it looks like a looks like a solid deodorant there so I'm just gonna wipe some on me in a few different spots and then kind of get some water um, to kind of get that going I don't really know how much to use of it so 
I'm not going to get crazy with it, but I imagine this will, you know, nuts, not so much lather, um, but I assume it will spread around pretty well once I get some water on. So I'm just going to get some water on my hand and just start kind of rubbing it in. I may have put too much of that on. Charky, Peter Chark Ellis, if you're out there watching, you can weigh in, see what you think. So this is just to kind of give me a base of slickness um, before I start with my soap. And I can tell you one thing, it is very slick so far. Good thing I have an Allen block here or I think I'd be dropping everything I have. All right, so this has just been soaking And I'll add a touch of that into this pre-shave just to get some more liquid. Mmm. Really nice vetiver scent. Not so much like um, not so much like potting soil, um, but just a nice a nice grassy scent that I really enjoy. This is not the uh, the current base. This is previous one before the milk steak uh, base came out from Declaration Grooming. And this is a much harder puck than uh, their previous bison formula. That was declaration grooming and Ellen you know L and L grooming the the previous company name All right. and let's get lathering any of you guys have cabin fever out there I'm sure plenty of you do. I am certainly blessed to have a a profession where I'm still at work. Um, you know, it may not be wonderful to be working in the hospital where there is the virus, but um, I'm certainly glad to be drawing a paycheck right now. I feel sorry for any of you out there that are struggling, and I hope that we find an end to this pretty soon. I also am really missing my sports. Sports is kind of my way to decompress at the end of the evening. Love my baseball, football, basketball. So I'm hoping that this stuff will resume before too long. I know it seems minuscule in comparison to what's going on with a lot of people in their health, but, you know, I just need something to not think about this all the time. And unfortunately, I've done that to you guys today. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. And I have literally thrown... Uh, lather everywhere. Tastes like the name Dirtiver. I mean, one of these days I'll learn how to not eat my soaps, but till then I'm looking for something a little higher on the on the tasteometer. I'm gonna give that one a well, you know, a two, a two and a half. It tastes like what the name is, so. I can't really dock it for that. 
I can dock myself for eating it. All right, double dock, first use. See how it does. Line this up first. Shafting glass, 12K. No idea what that's gonna feel like, but I'm about to. So far, so good. I do have a Mercure 34C with a Voshkod blade in it over here as a backup too, so I can get just as, um, as close as I want to. Still not overly prodigious with a straight razor, so you know I'm not going to give up the quality of my shave. So I just finish however I however I need to. I don't see anything wrong with that. In the end, we're just looking for great shaves, right? I intend to get one today. A little stretch. So far, very nice. Get some alum on my fingers so I can. Stretch my skin a little better. Good. Don't talk much when I straight razor shave because I'm still not super comfortable with it. So I really have to pay attention. That being said, I feel like I'm doing all right. Got the bulk of it there.
residual slickness right now is off the charts. Let's say the shaves, the slick stick does what it's supposed to do. I got a ton of soap here. This finest badger is such a great brush. I know I go on and on about it, but it's like, I don't know, 35 or 40 bucks, and it, the knot on it is really just killer. I think I'm just going to go across the grain with the straight um, and then I'm gonna finish up with my 34C. I haven't shaved in a few days obviously so I don't want to um, don't want to risk really getting any irritation. It's doing a pretty good job. I um, I don't think it's the smoothest honing job ever. Um, I think it will need to go to Frank at Strike Gold Shave um, at some point. But for right now, it's doing okay. Frank just tends to get really, really nice smooth edges you know they're really sharp but still just ultra smooth and I trust his work 100% in fact I have um, I have three straight razors um, that he is honing for me right now he's we're trying to um, kind of hone in on um, what my favorite edge is uh, finishing edges so he's doing each one of my um, each one of my three straights he's finishing on a different finishing stone um, so you know all of them will shave a little bit differently and I can kind of figure out um, what I like best if there is one you know or at least find the you know see what the different attributes are all right so Voshkod blade first use and the Mercure 34c I will note though that that is very smooth. Nice. I'm not real comfortable going across over in this area yet, um, and I haven't really figured out how to go across the green on my neck with a straight yet. I really, I really need to practice off camera. Um, but every time I shave, I wanna, I wanna get it up on, get a video up. So I've kind of had trouble doing that. Obviously, of my own fault. And obviously, when I make a video, I don't want you to have to watch me for 50 minutes while, you know, while I get one shave in. Yeah, it's slickness is fantastic. I definitely recommend that slick stick so far. Just came out like two weeks ago. Actually, I think it's two weeks on Friday. So as soon as I saw that was coming out, I went ahead and picked it up. Had it here two or three days later. Thank you, Mr. Charcalis. All right, now I'm gonna go against the grain and then just kind of clean up after that. I'm already smooth, but I want it smoother. So 
especially since I can't get a haircut, at least I can control how my face looks. Well, <laughs> can't so much control how my face looks, but as far as the amount of hair on it. Otherwise, I'd be a much more dapper looking dude. Boy, that is slick. I mean, the soap is slick anyway, but once you add that pre shave on, that's crazy slick. All right. Ton of lather. get some of my trouble areas always have trouble right here at the jawline you can see it's so slick I can hardly even get any traction on my skin That truly is incredibly slick. If you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend that you try that out. Got a lot of oils and butters in there. gonna strip the soap out you can see there's still a ton there beautiful beautiful pillowy stuff really great soap base in my opinion I'm on vacation this week, starting today, except for tomorrow. I do have to go in for a couple of um, call-in meetings. But I 
and today is Tuesday, so going tomorrow, then the rest of the week, I'm with the wife and kids, so I'm super excited, and I think she's super excited too, so she can get a break. It's a wonderful woman. To put up with my stuff and her two kids. That is great. I can't get any closer than that. All right, we'll get cleaned up here. Apparently I can't get closer. I just found something. Where'd it go? Ah, uh -uh, right there. Even after rinsing my face, that slickness is so good. That residual slickness is just great. always have trouble right from there to about there maybe if I lost a little weight I'd have a little less trouble or gained more okay sometimes you just gotta quit Sit here and hit it until I don't have any skin left. Some of you out there can probably relate. Well, Alum. Little feedback around my mouth. Nothing special. One little spot on my neck. I didn't see any bleeding, so that's a bonus. Awesome shave. I recommend to not get your tongue on alum. It's not a great experience. If you've done it before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Feels like you soaked your tongue in talcum powder. I get this alum off. great to get that hair off of my face. What? Hi, buddy. You'll say hi? Okay. Here's Reed. Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> Alright, now we're going with La Ronge Noir. which is a dupe of Terre de Mers for those that are not familiar with this. My wife would tell me that I smell like potting soil, but whatever. 
nice strong scent. It's really good if you're a fan of Terre d'Hermes. I would heavily encourage you to check that out. And then we'll finish with the namesake. Fragrance from Fragrance Decant Boutique. Where all of my decants come from. Mmm, that's nice. Nice vetiver scent. Thank you guys. Sorry it's been so long since I've seen you. Um, hopefully this was a decent shave. Hope you guys have a great day out there and I'll see you on the next one.